So, I have a question for you. Yeah. How's the baby dove doing? Oh, it died. What? Via frying pan. <laughs> Did you at least put some butter and garlic in there with it? No, just straight up what it tastes like. Like baby duck. Like, <laughs> what does baby duck taste like? Like, <laughs> like, just, just like Bella open the dreams, huh? Just like the bunny. Oh, wait, when did you, where, what happened to the bunny? Uh, it died via oven. Uh, 350? 350. What are you cooking on? Well, well, actually, I said it at 350, and then I was like, you know what, I gotta get this done faster, I gotta film another video, so I said 375. 375, alright. Speed up the process. I gotcha. And it was delicious, or what? Absolutely tasty. So was it as tasty as you thought it was gonna be? More. Huh? Very, More. very enriched bunny. Very enriched. Hey guys, so we are back again and today is going to be just really, for me anyway, an exploration video. So we're gonna go down to this creek that I have found and see what's down here and see if maybe there's potential to come back for something at some time. I've never been here before. I found it on Google Maps. Uh, it's over close to my office and I figured that, hey, I would invite this dude right here. Hey! Hello. How's it going, guys? And we would just do some exploration and see what's going on. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and uh, we'll see what all is down here that we can do. So as you can see, this is a very steep incline down to this thing. I don't know exactly what we're going to find, but I do know one thing, and that is I probably should have decided to wear something other than flip-flops. That's for sure. But we will see what we have. Oh. Whoa, shoot. What? This is where you slip. Look, I slipped right there. Yeah, I can see the little yeah. mark. Whoa, this is very slippery. This is actually a really beautiful creek. I don't know exactly. Oh, what? Tadpoles. Oh, look, they're baby tadpoles. Look at all of them. Little tiny baby tadpoles. Well, we could definitely come and rescue some tadpoles. Oh, no, minnows. It's just full of minnows. Dude, yeah, that is cool. Check this out. Like, this is... Check out the impression of the seashell. This thing is massive. Look at this. You see this? That's really cool. Look how big that is. I never would have imagined that something like this would have actually existed in North Texas, but it does. This is actually really cool. It's very clear, completely clear, and this looks to be all natural. Yeah, I've done a lot around North Texas, and I've honestly never seen a creek formation like this around here. Uh, I need to probably get out and look at some stuff a little more, especially with this channel. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I know it's not fish related, but this is definitely a cool spot. There is no doubt. All the fish in here. Assuming that this is some sort of a natural spring, just because of where it's exiting. So we were only here for about 20 minutes, but I found this really cool piece of wood here which I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. I may go on a tank somewhere, or I may make something out of it. I don't know yet. So we are now at the fish gallery in Dallas, Texas, and we're gonna go in here and take a look and see what they have. Neither Brenton or I have ever been here, so it'll be interesting to see exactly what they have in this joint. Look at the entrance here. Kinda cool, yeah. Look at that. 
This store is amazing. If you happen to need something in Dallas, Fish Gallery is definitely the place to come, it looks, because this place, look at this. Look at this, snails, starfish. I know we're not big on a bunch of salt water, but this is really cool. There are all kinds of little snails and crabs in here. Check out the crab. Tank of coral, live coral. This is really, really cool right here. Like super cool, like you can buy the little pieces of coral up here. Electric blue cichlids, I'm thinking that one of these definitely need to go in the tank. Definitely check these out. Fire dragon peacock cichlids. I had one of these as well should go in there. These butterfly koi are absolutely beautiful. I think maybe you should put more butterfly koi in here. All the black phantom tetra. The cichlid of some sort back there. Look at all these guys. This thing goes on forever and ever and ever. Blood parrot. These are red tail sharks. Black nasty cichlids. I definitely think I need one of these. Look at these leaf fish. Absolutely crazy looking. Check these out. Black tails. It's just walls of aquatic plants. There are all kinds of fish. Look at all of these little ones. Pygmy cori. Blood fin tetras. Blowfish. Check out the angelfish. Koi angelfish as they call them. Renton's favorite fish, the angelfish. Wow, really? It's not only angelfish you hate, but now you hate cichlids too? I guess now, not only am I going to put angelfish in my 100 gallon, but I'm also going to put cichlids in there just for Brent. Jeez, I can't win for losing with this kid. I hope you really enjoyed this tour of the fish gallery. I mean, this place is amazing. Check the Carolina out of here. We are just chilling. Except it was in slow mo. Yeah. Yeah. The whole thing? No. Just oh. just when we left. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that tour. So I have a question for you. Yeah. How's the baby dove doing? Well it died. What? Via frying pan. <laughs> Did you at least put some butter and garlic in there with it? No, just straight up what it tastes like. Like baby duck. Like <laughs> What does baby duck taste like? Like, like just, just like Bella open the dreams, huh? Just like the bunny. Oh, wait, when did you? Where, what happened to the bunny? Um, it died via oven. Uh, three fifty. What are you cooking on? Well, I, well, actually, I set it to three fifty, and then I was like, you know what? I gotta get this done faster. I gotta film another video, so I set it to three seventy five. Three seventy five. Speed right. up the process. I got you. And it was delicious, or what? Absolutely tasty. So was it as tasty as you thought it was gonna be? More. Not. Very, very enriched bunny. Very enriched bunny. At least now we know why they sell them for meat, yeah? Yep. Yeah? Okay. So, the bunny and the duckling are both dead. The duckling is dead <laughs> via frying pan. The bunny is dead via roasting pan. And 350 degree oven. 375. 375, that's right, because you had more to do. That's I forgot about that. All, awesome. jo all jokes aside, the bunny and the duck are doing phenomenal. The duck is still alive and thriving, which is great, considering it's only two and a half days old. But everything is everything is doing wonderful. Good. Penelope's still uh, plump. Oh my god, fat as a whistle. I don't even know what that means. I but don't either. And she is fat as a whistle. Yeah. I know whistles aren't fat, but you know. Penelope is definitely pleasantly plump. So Penelope is slim, thick. That's exactly, well, I wouldn't say there's any slim in there. It's just thick? Just thick, yeah. I got you. Man. She's got thunder thighs. <laughs> Why are you fat shaming your duck? She like likes she it. would be so hurt if she heard you right now. I put Penelope in the air, she would come down like a torpedo. You did. You let Nate's girlfriend throw her in the air and she almost broke her neck. 
but that I thought she could do it. Okay. No, she couldn't. She she proved she couldn't do it. I thought she could. Like, it, like literally, it was like crash landing a spaceship. <laughs> Poor Penelope. Yeah. Listen, she flew about as well as a lead balloon. <laughs> That's why they don't make lead balloons. Exactly. Although Pekin ducks aren't meant to fly. Are they not? No, they can't fly. Well, they're meant to fly onto the plate. Yeah. Right out of the oven onto the plate and then you, like, oh. they're, they're meant to fly through the lips, over the gums. Watch out, tummy, here it comes. Oh my God. Right? <laughs> I've never cooked Penelope. Oh, no. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. So I'm back at the house just real quick. I'm going to check on the fish just for a moment. So let's take a look and see how these guys in the 100 gallon are doing. We got the Pleco here. The Pleco looks good. He's hanging out on the side of the tank. The nice thing about the Pleco is he has cleaned off all of the algae off of this background, which is exactly what it needed him to do. And we have the Angel back here, and he is just chilling, which is good. I don't know why he's turning black like that. Is that normal? Uh, he had a little bit of black on him like that when I got him. Could that just be him changing colors? I don't know. Somebody comment below and let me know what you think. So everything in here looks good. I'm gonna feed these guys, and then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go outside and check the fish in the pond. Let's run outside real quick, check the fish in the pond, and see how they're doing out here. The pond comet, good. I see one pleco back up underneath there. Barely see it. And there are four more plecos in here somewhere. I don't know exactly where they're at. All oh, the goldfish look good. Well, all I see in here is just the goldfish. There's the big goldfish right there, which is that one's doing well, obviously. There is the pond comet. The other little feeder goldfish are doing okay. I have not, I don't see the black koi and I don't see any of the multicolored koi. I'm sure that they are all in here and they are all doing fine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. I know it was a little weird with the whole riverbed exploration and then the aquarium store that we found in Dallas, but that aquarium store was absolutely cool. Comment below and let me know, would you like to see more video in that creek bed doing a little more exploration? That thing was really cool. I'm gonna do some research on it, but it looked like there was some natural spring that existed somewhere around there because there was water pouring out of the walls, creating you know natural pools of really, really cold water. So it was a really cool creek bed or river bed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have yet to follow me on Instagram or subscribe to this channel, please do that now. We have some great, great content that's coming. So please, please do that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today and we will see you next time.